For those involved in control system design, operation and maintenance, there are many challenges. Profinet helps to meet those challenges. Let's ask Profinet expert Carl Henning to explain some of the ways Profinet does that. Mr. Henning, what benefits does Profinet have for the manufacturer? I find it's easier to remember things in groups of three. So let's look at three different categories of benefits for Profinet. Category number one, flexibility. Category number two, efficiency. Category number three, performance. So flexibility, what this means is that the machine designer is free to choose the parts of Profinet he uses to do the design for his machine. The second one is efficiency, and by efficiency we just mean making the optimal use of resources, whether those resources are machines or people. And finally, performance. Performance really gives us the ability to improve the throughput of a machine and uh, get the benefit of uptime on and running the machine. So how is Profinet flexible? Well, let's go take a look at this machine and we can examine that. Okay, nice. You asked how Profinet was flexible. Naturally, I'm going to give you three answers. First answer is, uh, it's an open standard. Secondly, the topology is very flexible. We can create many different ways to connect devices together. And third, we can also do functional safety right over Profinet. What do you mean with open standard? Well, first of all, Profinet is an open standard published by an international organization. Profinet is part of IEC 61158. Uh, secondly, Profinet is supported by the global reach of PI International. And third, it's supported by many different vendors. We can see right in here there are five or six different vendors, and there are hundreds more that support the, support the Profinet technology. You said the second flexible benefit was topology. What does that mean? Topology is really just the way the devices are connected together. And with Profinet, we can connect the devices in many different ways. And you can see some of that here behind me. We have a lot of wired connections. We can make a star, the traditional way that it's done in the office. We can make a line, very much like we had with Profibus. We can make a tree, which is kind of a combination of those. We can even make a ring for redundancy in case one media portion goes away. We can still continue to communicate with all the devices. In fact, we can even communicate wirelessly. We have on this machine some wireless access points so that even though uh, we are not connected directly, we can still wirelessly connect to the machine. You said safety. That sounds pretty important for somebody working around the machine, right? Okay, let's go around to the side of the machine and I'll show you some of the parts to that answer. Okay. Let's look at some safety devices. We can tell that this is a safety controller because it's got the yellow front on it and the word Profisafe. Now, Profisafe is a functional safety application profile that runs on top of Profinet. It's responsible for moving safety messages from I.O. devices to safety controllers. And by functional safety here, we just mean that we want the machine not to misbehave in a way that damages itself or injures a person. One of the nice things about Profisafe is that it can be used in discrete automation, factory automation such as this machine here, it can be used in process automation, and also for motion control. Okay, that covers the flexibility category. You said the second category was efficiency, and I bet you also have three benefits in that one. Am I right? Yes, you are right. <laughs> I have three. And those three are one cable, diagnostics, and energy. One cable. One cable. Let me, uh, let's go to the front of the machine. I'll show you what I mean. Okay, good. Okay, by one cable, and by the cable here, we're talking about this green cable. You see green cable all around us on this machine. Green cables associated with Profinet. Nice thing about this one green cable is that we can bring real-time information, uh, the kind of information that comes from I.O. We can bring much higher speed information that we need for motion control on the same cable. We can even bring open TCP IP communications over the same exact same cable to do configuration of devices or to run non-Profinet devices like the vision system that's also on this machine. Okay. Shall we talk about diagnostics now? Yes. Is that like when I'm sick and my doctor figures out what's wrong? Yes, except we need to figure out what's wrong with the machine. Mm -hmm. There are a lot of different ways to do that, but the simplest one is even just using something like an HMI. We can put some screens on the HMI that actually show us where a problem is on the machine. If we need to get into additional depth beyond that, we can actually leverage some of the tools that the IT folks use um, to get even additional detail. But for the most part, the user is going to find some screens on the HMI that is going to help him troubleshoot and find his problem quickly. Are you running out of energy yet? No, but that does remind me about Profi Energy. 
Uh, now we have a whole separate video series on Profi Energy, so I won't go into a lot of detail. The important thing about Profi Energy is it allows the utility bills to be reduced by saving energy during machine pauses. So right now the machine behind me is continuing to run, but if we were to take a break, we could use Profi Energy to do a reduced energy production pause and save substantial amounts on our utility bill. We've discussed efficiency as one cable, diagnostics and energy. So what's the third benefits category? The third category is performance. And by performance I mean, of course, three different things. Speed, precision, and by precision we're talking determinism, and finally bandwidth. Speed? How fast is fast? It depends. Uh, different machine, parts of the machine require different speeds. Um, if we had a process machine, speeds of 100 millisecond would be fine. Uh, I.O., you know, maybe a millisecond. Uh, even faster, probably, for the motion control systems. And, of course, the beauty of Profinet is all three of those run on one cable. For the precision benefit, you used a word that was determinism. I think I need a definition for that. <laughs> determinism is important because if the message does not arrive in time, there can be terrible consequences. Let's say you have a conveyor line that's running with ball bearings on it, and that message that you wanted to get there in two milliseconds gets there in four milliseconds. You could have 30,000 ball bearings falling off that conveyor, jumping all over the plant floor. Bandwidth. That sounds like a rock band called WIB. But what I'm talking about here is bandwidth, and that means how much information can I get flowing over that one cable at a time. And the ability to move a lot of data much more over this Profinet cable than we could under Profibus, for example, means that we can have more devices and more complicated devices moving a lot more data. Okay, let me check if I do have all the benefits. Uh, the first category was flexibility. I do have open standard, topology, and functional safety. Those are right. Okay, then we come to efficiency. Then I have one cable, diagnostics, and energy. Those are right. Okay, and last but not least, performance with speed, determinism, and bandwidth. You have them all. Okay. Those are indeed the top benefits of Profinet by threes. <laughs> okay, thank you so much, Mr. Henning. And thank you for joining us for Profinet Benefits on Profi TV. For more information, just visit our website, profinet.com.